How y'all doing? Good. Good, good, good. good. Uh, any native Floridians here? One. Born in Sanford, Florida. Raised in West Palm Beach. Educated in the public school system in Palm Beach County. And later on, a bachelor's and master's from Florida Atlantic University. I know this public uh, system of higher education in Florida at all of its levels. <laughs> and uh, my wife and I, we always thought we would be back here in Florida, uh, but primarily in retirement. We never thought we would have an opportunity to come back and serve in the uh, capacities that we now serve. And it's just, uh, it's just great. So I am so pleased to be here today to speak to you a little bit about Florida Gulf Coast University. I'm gonna to try to get through it rather rapidly uh, and answer any questions or receive any comments that you what may have. Creating intentionally is a living, learning community. Students coming out of high school, coming to FGCU, they have spent the last six or seven years um, in the classroom each day for about seven or eight hours. Folks, when they come here, they're in the classroom about 15 hours a week. It's a different experience. And we know that students, especially freshman students, they have a difficult time adjusting to that. Now we have programs in place and very experienced people to help those students during that first, that transitional year. But uh, what we've done over the last three or four years is that we've created housing just for freshman students. And that's what we have out in South Village. And last year, and we'll uh, do this more this year than future years, we actually offer courses in the residence halls now for those freshman students. We're bringing those co-curricular programs that are designed to enhance their success into the residence halls. <coughs> Dr. Mike Rollo, he's our Vice President for Student Affairs. I was talking with him in preparation for my comments today because uh, I didn't want to say anything that was incorrect. That doesn't bother me as much as it bothers my vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was telling me that uh, the persistence rate for students who live in our residence halls is significantly better than students who live off campus. So when we talk to parents, even though they live in Naples or Cape Coral or Fort Myers or you know close enough for their kids to live at home. We tell them about the college experience and what it's really about. And it's a lot more than just going to class. Consider 15 hours a week in class. Clearly, we expect a lot of the learning to take place outside of the classroom. And we have created an environment that promotes learning throughout the campus. Students can plop, I was going to say plop down, I should say sit down. <laughs> Students can sit down anywhere on this campus and access all of our databases. We have high-speed wireless internet everywhere. Students themselves have provided additional resources so that we can keep the library open later throughout the week. So everything that we do here is designed to enhance students' success. And I had a meeting, I don't like the phrase town hall meeting, but seems to be a popular phrase, but uh, faculty and staff that were invited to come and talk with uh, the president and the cabinet a couple days ago. And uh, we talked about what it, would, what it takes to be more successful with our students. You know, day to day it's very easy, it could be easy, to sort of fall into a pattern where you think it's about your office. And that rather uh, hard to take supervisor, we don't have any of those here at FGCU, but I encourage the university community, all of us, to take two steps, three steps back periodically and look at what's happening here. What's happening here is not being repeated anywhere else in the country. There's no state building a public university of this size and of this complexity anywhere else in the country. And as uh, Dan indicated in my uh, introduction, I've been around. <laughs> I've, I've been in various states working in public institutions within systems. And I can tell you uh, with great confidence what's happening here in Astero is very, very special. And um, I am so pleased to be a part of that. 
I, uh, at the last Board of Trustees meeting, I'm so proud to say that they renewed my contract for another five years beginning July 1st of this year. Um, that is something very special for me. I am not looking around. Harvard calls, you know, you gotta <laughs> kind of answer the phone, you gotta talk a little bit. But uh, actually, um, to be uh, a product, as I indicated earlier, of public education here in Florida, the first graduate from college, I know what education can mean. Not just for me, but for future generations. I have two sons, uh, Amon, who his master's degree uh, last year, and Zach. Zach. <laughs> you know, Zach is a uh, senior at Georgia State, taking a year off, maybe it's a year and a half now. <laughs> and uh, he's finding himself. Uh, he can always find Papa, but like, he's kind of got to look himself. But uh, good guys. My point is, with, um, with education, you only need to change one generation to change your future. And our task now, both in higher education and in K-12, is to make sure we don't leave behind those populations that have been historically underserved by education. We only have to change one generation. And the probability that that generation and their children of that generation will go on to college goes up exponentially. So we are pleased here at FGC to work very closely with the superintendents in the five counties. I meet with them regularly as part of the Alliance of Educational Leaders. Uh, we have said here at the university, and we mean it, we are not going to be apart from Southwest Florida. We're going to be a part of 